Well, we can go across to the Brandywell now, and I gather that Will Downing's got a very special guest with him. Yes, the Aircom League's latest promotional tool is with me. Well, not quite. Sean Bean is here. Just why are you at the Brandywell tonight, Sean? Well, uh, we were very kindly invited by Derry City, my, my friend and I, uh, uh, Gary Armstrong and myself, to come over and uh, kind of acknowledge the link between Sheffield United and Derry City. Uh, I think the catalyst for that were uh, Billy Gillespie, who played for Sheffield United for 20 years, captained us, uh, and our last... Uh, Visit to uh, in the FA Cup, we won Cardiff City uh, in 1925. He, he was with us for 20 years. He came to Derry City, and um, in 1932, and uh, then Derry City were adopted the red and white stripes, uh, which of course you know Sheffield United playing. So uh, it's a kind of you know very. Uh, interesting story you know the fact that uh, we're playing the same colours Billy Gillespie were a very great midfield general for Sheffield United he went on to become manager of Derry City and uh, as I said Derry have uh, invited us here tonight and uh, it's just great to be able to watch a game of football in the old-fashioned way really yeah there's a book as well of course about the link between the two clubs yeah Gary wrote a book, uh, it's kind of a definitive history of Sheffield United and, uh, and it's mentioned, it's explored in that and uh, as I said it's not really been acknowledged by, uh, by, by Sheffield United FC and you know we're just here in a purely personal uh, capacity just to, um, just to take up the invite and watch a game of football and uh, just commemorate a, a legacy which was uh, uh, kind of created by Billy Gillespie uh, who, who, who served both clubs with uh, you know, a great honour. Now on the screen, you've been part of the Fellowship of the Ring, you've jousted with 007, but I bet maybe the proudest moment was scoring for your club. It was. It, it's, um, it's the only time I was going to get a red and white shirt and uh, score at the cop end at Bramall Lane. So, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that was a wonderful occasion. I think it was half-time. We were playing Man United in, uh, in the quarter-final, a full late match, and I went in half-time and took some penalties. Uh, most of which I missed, but uh, it was still a, quite a thrilling experience. <laughs> and you're back on TV soon again, aren't you, uh, the old swashbuckler? Yeah, I did a, I did a one of a sharp uh, just recently, just got back from India, uh, and uh, it's called Sharp's Peril, that's going to be on uh, probably later on this year in the autumn, uh, so that, that should be good. And finally, the Blades, the coming season, prospects? Uh, I'll have to see, you know, uh, did pretty well this season, you know, we just missed out on the playoffs, you know, put in a couple, a couple of more matches under his belt, might have made it, but uh, got a good good manager here, got Kevin Blackwell, he's a, he's a very good manager, and uh, if we can hang on to our players, uh, players like James Beattie and players like that, we might have a good chance, got a lot of big teams coming down like Birmingham and Derby and Forest coming up, so we'll see how it goes, got great support, great stadium. Hopefully they'll get behind us and uh, we'll make another push for promotion. Sean, thank you very much. Next week we hope to have Angelina Jolie, but for now it's Curtis Fleming and Des Curran. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Will. Sean. Well, it's another in the long list of...